feel today? Oh, man, it definitely feels good. I mean, first feeling that we won. You know, the game came out here on the road against a, you know, a hostile environment, the dome, so it's pretty loud. And I mean, we jumped out early. We had an early turnover, but we rebounded and, uh, I mean, went to business as usual after that. So it feels good to, you know, do, do it away from home. Are people trying to man cover you and Jordan? Uh, it, it seemed that way, at least for part of the game. Um, I mean, their, their philosophy today, I guess, was, you know, kind of press us and maybe slow us up off the line, which, I mean, yeah. we're fine with that. We've uh, been pressed a lot before, so, I mean, it just didn't seem that they adjusted after, you know, we beat them a couple of times, but, you know, that's that's what teams are going to have to, uh, you know, they're going to have to choose whether they want to back up or press us, and I think today they felt it. How do you guys loosen, loosen things up for one another? Uh, Jordan, a couple of big plays early, and it seemed like I mean, you found yourself free. It only takes one play from Jordan. I mean, you, you watch him through the first couple of games, he's been on fire, so, uh, I mean, that first play, he scores that touchdown, then, you know, the defense is over there, like, okay, we got to stop 24. Then as soon as you start paying a lot of attention to him, you know, I can, uh, you know, I can get in there and get some production. A guy like Derek can get some production. So, I mean, it only took one play from Jordan today again to just realize, you know, okay, look, we have to pay attention to, you know, number 24. Your thoughts on Devlin? I'm sorry. Okay. Your thoughts on Devlin and his play? He seemed to, you know, have a chemistry with you right off the bat. Uh, I mean, he, he came in there. He took what the defense gave him. He did a great job. Um, I mean, that's just, you know, a testament to him coming in off the bench, you know, being ready to play and coming in firing on all cylinders. You had to make it kind of turn it around and catch where you weren't looking for the ball. What, what never saw the ball. I told Pat I never saw the ball. I looked up in the air expecting him to, you know, put some air on it. He put it right on my hip. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, I never saw the ball. But, I mean, somehow, somewhere I caught it. But uh, that was a that was a great throw by him. Only I could catch it. Touchdown catch, too. The second one, anyway, was a little bit tough to make, too. Can you talk about the adjustment you had to make to uh, I mean, yeah, he, he threw a good pass on that one also. I mean, it's my job to go up and get it. Uh, the corner never saw it. He threw it on his back shoulder. So, and I just had to go up and get it. And Pat made a great throw. And, like I said, that's just that's just a testament to him coming in off the bench, firing on all cylinders. Is there coming better, in. better timing with the quarterbacks this year early on? I mean, is that, is that showing in some of these plays, like being able just to turn around and find that ball? Or? Oh, yeah, I mean, definitely. We've uh, we've put a lot of emphasis on, you know, timing and stuff like that. And, you know, both Pat and Daryl have, have stayed extra time during the summer. And, I mean, it's really showing now with the kind of roster we're running in the passes. How weird was it not playing in the second half? Uh, I mean, it was weird, but actually it felt good, man. It was it was muggy in that place, yeah. and I'm, I mean, I, I I was happy to sit with the lead like that and see some of the younger guys, the Chaz, the Derek Moore, get in the game and, you know, show what they can do. How do you think they did? Uh, I think they did a great job. Um, obviously, it's going to be a lot for them to uh, learn watching this tape, and, you know, you know, Chaz has a big fumble, but he shows that he can run with the ball. But, uh, I mean, those guys did a great job, I think. Thanks,